Today, everything revolves around energy. Without it, the world would come to a standstill. All this consumption creates a degree of pollution that is leading to global warming and climate changes. This will drastically affect our way of living. If we want to preserve the world that future generations will inherit, we have to act now. Solar energy is an unlimited power source, even in rainy areas. If we were to cover just 3% of Belgium's surface area with solar panels, we could completely replace our current energy sources. 2% of Europe's surface area could supply the whole world with all the power it needs. So what are we waiting for? Photovoltaic was born at the end of 2001 as a spin-off of IMEC in Leuven, Belgium. Alongside IMEC, the major shareholders are Total and Electrobel Soltec, part of the Suez Group. Although the links between photovoltaic and IMEC remain tight, in-house R&D plays a key role in the improvement of our products. The production plant, based in Tienen, Belgium, has been operational since November 2003 and has never ceased expanding. While the incoming silicon wafer material is unpacked and unstacked, it is optically quality checked for wafer dimension and cracks. The cassettes filled with wafers are then passed through an isotexturization process during which sawing damage is etched off and the wafer surface is textured. Wafers are rinsed in water and dried with hot air. In a furnace at a temperature of about 850 degrees centigrade, phosphorus diffuses into the wafers, creating a diode junction. To limit the light reflection of the solar cells, an anti-reflection coating is deposited on the surface, giving it its typical deep blue color. Next, the front contact pattern is deposited by means of screen printing in a fully automated screen printing line using a silver paste. Back contacts are printed afterwards using silver and aluminium paste. In a firing furnace at temperatures reaching 900 degrees centigrade, front silver contacts penetrate the anti-reflection coating. Backside aluminium paste alloys with the silicon. Now a narrow groove is cut, isolating front and backside contacts. All solar cells are measured under the solar simulator and sorted into different quality groups according to their generated power. The finished photovoltaic cells are now packed and shipped to customers throughout the world. There are the standard Maxis solar cells and, for aesthetically more adapted use, the advanced back contact solar cells. Today, photovoltaic cells are found in many different buildings throughout Europe. But we have a long way to go to replace current sources in favour of sustainable energy. However, the demand for solar panels is increasing. And companies like Photovoltaic try every day to raise the quality of solar cells while reducing their costs to a minimum. The shift from traditional power sources to photovoltaic solar cells is gaining momentum. It's a real challenge that is crucial for the future of our planet.